What's good YouTube, it's White Mike, and today I'm going to be telling you how to get rid of those chips and scratches on your Sony body. So this is going to work for the A7II, A7R2, A7S2, A9, any of them that use the flat black. It's not going to work for the original A7, original A7S, or the original A7R because those use kind of like a luster finish, like you have on most of your lenses. This is Rust-Oleum Scratch and Chip Touch-Up Paint. It is a universal flat black. I got this at Walmart for about five or six bucks, and it is the exact color match of the body. So on the Sony cameras, you get the paint chip on the edges. The paint just pretty much gets rubbed off on these sharp edges. I guess it's because the coating on the Sony's isn't that thick. I wish they'd make it thicker so this doesn't happen, but you get kind of like silver edges on your camera. This is the A7R2. It's already been touched up. As you can see, it looks real good. There's no shiny silver edges on it, but when I got it, there were shiny silver edges all the way around this thing. I mean, you could tell simply looking at it. You didn't have to look very hard at all. Now you'd have to look really hard to see any imperfection. It blends in real nice, just about the exact same color. Just make sure you clean your camera first before you start painting on the edges. This is the A7R2 that I'm going to show you how I did the painting with. It's a good way to clean up your camera, but yeah, it's for all those chips and paint edges that get paint rubbed off on it. And I'm going to make another video to show you how to protect these cameras from that even happening in the first place. And it's real simple. With the paint, you're going to want to shake it up real good. All you're gonna need is a paper towel and maybe some white printer paper or any type of paper or cardboard or something. Once you take this out on the brush, you're gonna rub it up against the sides to get a lot of the paint off. Rub it on a sheet of paper, get most of the paint off. You don't want a lot of paint on this brush, otherwise it's gonna drip. You just wanna lightly touch the edges with the brush, get a little bit of paint on there. And then the paper towel, you're just gonna rub off any excess or anything that kind of goes where it shouldn't. It's a cheap fix to make your camera look really nice and brand new. But yeah, just as a disclaimer, I I am not responsible for anything that happens to your camera from following these steps or looking at this video. You are going to paint on your camera at your own risk. So don't mess up your camera and drip paint all over it and then say that I messed up your camera because I'm not responsible for that. You are. So at your own discretion, don't try this if you don't want to. Yeah, it's really easy to do. I've gotten good results out of it several times, but I have real steady hands. So you may just wanna, I don't know, think about it before you do it. So let's get into it. Problem areas are over here on the edge. I've already put one coating on this camera. It looks pretty good. So you can't really see the scratches that were on the edges here. There's one here that I need to fix now, right above my fingertip. I don't know, you probably see that it's shining real bright. The rest have already been covered, but you can see there are some problem areas. Once we coat these with a second coat, It'll go away. There were some problem areas here on the bottom. I've coated those. And yeah, these screws here were all coated. They were silver. I'm not gonna second coat those. I'll leave those alone, but we're gonna make this look real nice. Take our paint, we'll brush it out. And then what I do is I brush onto the paper, clear it off the brush. Then I'll go find the spots and slowly brush it. Just enough, but not too much to mess anything up. And that's how much is on the brush. So we'll go back through here and find all of our other problem areas that we cleaned up the first time. Put a second coat on them. Now we're just painting the edges. Nothing too crazy here. Not painting the whole camera. Also be careful not to touch where you just painted. That could really mess it up for you. Now if you need more paint, you can grab some of it off of the paper. Now if it looks like it, you got too much on there, just take a paper towel, kind of wipe it away. So I mean, that was pretty good. I mean, I can't tell where those scratches were now. I'm gonna come here to the side as well. Oh, the bottom actually. I've cleaned up some spots on here. It really, once it's blended in, it's really hard to see where those problem areas were. And if you want to be real picky about it, you can just paint all the edges. You're not going to notice a, a big difference at all. It's going to blend in real nice. If you want, you can paint all the edges. That way they all look exactly the same. No problems. Still trying to make sure I don't touch anywhere. Already painted. Problem areas here on the bottom. So trust me when I say it was a lot worse. So there you have it. The camera has been touched up. Now just let it dry before you handle it. But when I got this, trust me, there were silver edges all around this whole camera. This whole camera had silver edges. Something you see that's very common in these Sony bodies after they wear down. And you cannot tell that I touched this up. And it looks almost as good as new. 
Again, that's the Rust-Oleum Cratch and Chip Repair U5000C, Universal Flat Black. And again, that works for the A72, A7R2, A7S2, A9, any of the newer bodies that use the flat black color. So hopefully this has helped someone. Hopefully that was helpful and you got some information out of that. So let me know if you're going to do this to your camera. If you have a different solution for these scratches, I don't think Sony fixes it themselves. I think this is a good method. But yeah, just let me know how it goes in the comments below. You know what to do if you want to see more videos like this. And I'll catch you on the next one.